Hello again everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com and I wanted to share with you some really cool boats that I ended up grabbing on my recent trip to drop off that gigantic airplane up in Iowa. So while I was up there, I made a detour on the way back, uh, swung by Craig's house up in Illinois and uh, managed to fill the entire back of a full-size Chevy Suburban with really cool boats. I wanted to share with you some of the cool things that I picked up. We're going to be liquidating some of these, uh, just churning them because I picked all this stuff up in a big batch. Um, so some of these things I just want to flip and, and get out of the shop so we can move around in here. But some of them are really cool and I want to share with you what those look like. So let's start with the things we're going to dump for cheap. First one is a, a real journey into the, uh, into the past. This is a model kit put out by Combat Models out of New Jersey. And I got to think this is like circa 1980 something or other. Um, comes with all these blueprints, but it is a styrene vacuum-formed model kit of a, of a Gato-class submarine. It would be a lot of work to, to get this thing put back together. There may be some value to somebody um, just because of the history in it, but I think more so it's got some really cool drawings of the uh, Gato-class submarine. Certainly going to be worth the $15 that I would like to get out of that. Next up, this is um, a scratch-built model, scratch-built hull, using the lost foam technique. This is a German Type 2 submarine, and you can see it is huge. It's probably six feet long. Comes with a beautiful 3D printed tower in uh, high strength nylon sintered plastic. Um, it's got a few fittings there, the dive planes and struts and that kind of thing. Um, the hull apparently has four layers of four ounce cloth on it and the foam plug is still in there. And the cool thing about that is you can design the hull split however you want it to be. You're just gonna open up the boat scoop out the foam, use a little bit of like acetone or something like that to dissolve whatever's left and you've got yourself uh, a fully empty shell that should build into a really cool submarine. And uh, I'm just looking to get 150 bucks for that whole thing. Could be a really cool project for somebody. Hiding in the back here is a 571 Nautilus and uh, this is again utilizing the lost foam technique and you can see that on the inside here you can see the sections of foam that were uh, in there and then coated with fiberglass this is a nice layup actually a really good job doing that all the limber holes are opened up already um, 3d printed resin tower is uh, really nicely detailed you can see all of that there. And it's got some uh, 3D printed appendages, uh, 3D printed tail. So all of those rear control surfaces are there. Comes with some extra styrene and a little bit of brass. Um, but this is a really nice size. I'm gonna say it's roughly, you know, four feet in overall length. Um, looking for 175 bucks out of that. This next one is actually, uh, is actually pretty cool. This is a, uh, a scale shipyard German Type 9 submarine. Uh, it's probably five feet in overall length. Comes with two fiberglass towers. There's like a short tower uh, and an extended winter garden tower. Um, but the neat thing about this that really gives value to it is these beautiful set of plans. And I'll put uh, a picture of what that looks like in the video here so you can see what it looks like. But the other thing that it has are these gorgeous laser cut deck pieces. So the entire deck is here. And of course, if you get the, the hull from Scale Shipyard, um, it would not come with anything like that. You'd basically get the hull and the tower and that would be it. Um, got some cast resin appendages and also a beautiful 3D printed gun that'll come with that as well. This will build into a beautiful boat. 
someone's going to be really happy with this. So yeah, German Type 9 submarine, We're looking for a couple hundred bucks out of that. I also ended up with a couple of 75 megahertz radios. Um, we got an Ace Nautical Commander. It's dirty, I apologize, but um, last, the previous owner knew it was in uh, fully functional condition, and as was this uh, Attack 4 Futaba radio on uh, 75.71 frequency, which is, I believe, uh, I don't know what channel that is, but um, this that probably needs a new battery, but other than that, should be fully functional. 10 bucks each, whichever one you want. So also ended up with some uh, Revell kits. Uh, and this is gonna be a great way for somebody to get into the hobby uh, a little bit more economically. Uh, Type 9 and Gato kits. Um, those will probably take our 250 series sub driver. So you can easily convert these to RC operation. Um, these are started condition. So you can see some of the work's been done. As far as I know, all the parts are in there, but I can't guarantee it, and they're gonna be priced accordingly. So you can buy this either as your primary project, or if you're just looking for spare parts, this would be a great way to get into it. Uh, $50 each for Gato, um, a Type 9, that's the uh, Type 9C uh, 1940 version with the pinched nose on the front, which I think actually is really cool. I love that this version a lot better than the standard uh, Type 9 that you typically see. Got a Type 7 kit there in uh, quasi-started condition and uh, a 9C with a late model version with the full deck. Take your choice, 50 bucks each. We'll get it shipped out to you. These ones, uh, these hulls don't collapse, so um, you'll get two boxes, one with all the parts and one with the hull in it. Now that we've talked about all the stuff we're blowing out, I want to show you the cool things that we're going to hold here as potential future builds. So to start things off, I'm going to share with you some things that have absolutely nothing to do with submarines, but are nonetheless epically cool. Um, some of you will recognize the 1989 Keaton Batmobile that's sitting here right now. Um, this is a 3D printed hull, but it is on a fully functional RC chassis. Um, the previous owner painted it up uh, pretty unique, kind of more like a race car idea. We're going to revert it back to the uh, sort of more common or, or popular black paint scheme, but we've got some things rolling around in our brain that involve uh, fire and lights so um, and a functional turbine. So. Watch for that. In the meantime, we're just gonna get it geared up and run it around in the shop to like dispel stress, I think. Looking behind me, you can also see the bat boat, I guess. And I think this was from the Val Kilmer uh, version. Or maybe, no, maybe it was Clooney. I don't remember which one it was. Nonetheless, cool. This is set up for brushless power. Um, and the drivetrain is absolutely ridiculous on it. This is like a 300 amp brushless motor uh, with a water cooling jacket on it. Um, I am not a fast electric guy, but I could be for this boat. <laughs> so it may hang on this wall for quite a while until we get the free time to work on it. But in the meantime, um, super epic boat and uh, I was stoked to see it as part of this whole lot of stuff that I ended up with. Moving over here, we've got a 3D printed 48 inch, or I guess it would be 48 scale roughly, Disney Nautilus. Now these files are available on CG Trader and I actually own them, but this is the result. And uh, I have to say the gentleman that printed this out knows what he's doing when it comes to 3D printing because I can't even detect the striations in this. This is as it came off of the printer, just with a coat of copper paint on it, from what he told me. So um, this is a really nice size. It's the same size as our previous uh, resin kits that we had put out. Um, we're got probably gonna finish this up for RC. Looking down here, uh, an oldie but a goodie. Um, picked this one up from a, a different gentleman. This is at one of the early versions of the Engel Gato RC submarine. 
Um, and you can see, uh, you know, the details are a little bit simplified, but it's a cool boat uh, and a really nice size. Um, they took some liberties with the details and the shape of the dive planes and the size of things. Uh, it's set up with a, with a dry hull inside. I think we're just going to gut all that and throw a cylinder in it. So that potential future project as well. So up here we have a British U-class submarine. Um, again, all 3D printed, and uh, it looks really, really good. It's going to be a fun one to uh, to put together. Jumping down here, um, this is one that I'm really familiar with. This is a 1144 scale Russian Typhoon made from the 3D files that we offer here at the Dry Docks, um, originally designed by Randy Sanders. Um, the neat thing uh, about this, this is obviously 3D printed, but the way that um, Craig, the gentleman put this together, gets this perfectly smooth finish is he washes the, the boat down with clear resin. So you can see that's what's going on there. This just hasn't been sanded yet, but when it has, it'll end up with this really, really smooth finish. And then what he does is he uses tape to mask off all of the uh, scribed panel lines and stuff so it doesn't get any resin in it. So you preserve all of those details in it. Um, that's gonna be a really fun build here uh, as well and a nice size. Up to the front here, some of you guys will recognize this. This is the, the Mobius Skipjack in 70 second scale. This is all set up for RC. So all the linkages are done already. The uh, drive shaft is all installed. Linkages in the Fairwater planes are all run. So this is getting pretty close. We just need to drop a cylinder in that and uh, do obviously testing and painting and all of that fun stuff, but that's pretty close to go. This is another plastic model kit, the Bronco Type 23, uh, and this has been completed uh, and painted, which is really cool. It's all set up with the linkages and everything already um, installed. So uh, basically we just gotta drop a cylinder in that, test this one out, and it'll be ready to go. These 23 uh, boats run really, really well. They're great, uh, even in smaller bodies of water. If you had a bigger pool, you could probably get away with that as well because the uh, rudder's right behind the prop, so you get really, really good uh, turning action out of the boat. Now, I can tell that you're probably interested in this uh, in the bag. This is a gigantic 3D printed Sea view from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Um, it is going to be all set up for RC operation as well. We've got all of the extra parts inside with the sail and the fair water planes and hatches and all of that fun stuff. Uh, it has an open bay for the flying sub um, under the nose as well. Uh, if you go to the back, these, these are really cool. These impellers are like monstrous. Um, and they're gonna move some water. They're in like a two inch diameter tube. So this thing is gonna have a ton of thrust. So this is set for um, uh, RC conversion as well. I want to make uh, a note here with the exception of, uh, for example, the not, uh, Typhoon. I don't have the 3D files that I offer for these boats. They come from places like CG Trader or Thingiverse or, or whatever, they're out there. Um, I don't market them, I don't sell them, I'm not gonna tell you where they are, even if I knew where they are. Um, same thing goes for this. These files haven't been released. Uh, I believe the gentleman is still finalizing them. Maybe they'll end up uh, on the market, maybe they won't. I believe Craig was kind of the test mule for the actual files, which is how this one ends up. So it's a really unique boat and a really nice size. I love the size of this one. It's a little bit more manageable than that big 80 inch sea uh, view that we're going to be working on a little bit later as well. In the back here, this is one <laughs> I'm pretty excited about. This came in in the package as well. So this is a, a Russian torpedo boat and um, it's going to, it's fully set for RC and the, the builder did a beautiful job. You can see all of the really intricate details in those rudders and the hull with all of the rivets. Um, you know, even to the point when you take a look at this, this winch 
um, actually works. Um, lifts up the gun and, and lowers the gun like crazy details. And then in the front, there's actually a shutter on the floodlight. You can move this back and forth and it opens and closes the shutter on the spotlight. So we're gonna be building this one up as a, as a quick flip and painting it. Um, it's gonna be super cool uh, to bring. And, and more so than anything else, I just love the fact it actually looks like a submarine from the right angle. Moving right along, um, we've got another uh, 3D printed 571 Nautilus up there. You can see it's been you know primed with the resin on there, ready for sanding and get that really smooth finish out of it. Um, these files are, are beautiful. And again, I think maybe they're on CG Trader or, or something like that. Um, but they, they make for a really cool boat. You can see a lot of really awesome details uh, up at the front there with some like bolt heads and the 571 on there. The same boat, the same files are also in this one. <laughs> this, I think, if I, re if I remember correctly, was, gosh, was it 70 inches in overall length or, or something like that? Absolutely massive boat. Um, this is going to have a ton of really awesome presence and uh, it's all set up for um, you know potentially putting in a, a, a big you know OTW dive module something like a four inch diameter cylinder or something like that. Really really neat boat. And then if I if I remember correctly one of the neat things about this this is a a bayonet style release for the stern which is really cool we just kind of like found that when we were putting all these pieces uh, together so you got easy access to all of your uh, drive shafts and linkages for your uh, dive planes and, and all of that stuff Moving right along, uh, up front, we've got a German Type 21. Now, I believe these are off of Otto's files, which we do offer. Um, we just have to get from Otto the photo etch details that would go with this. Um, but again, like this hull, he did such a good job of smoothing that out. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, just gotta do the same thing with the, with the tower there. And this will make for a really, really cool uh, boat of a really nice size. I think this is 48th scale, um, which is really neat. Hiding in behind there is a German Type 7. Again, all 3D printed, um, but you would never know looking at the boat uh, because of the really smooth finish that uh, we got there. And it's a, a resin printed tower, um, resin printed you know, deck guns and all of that stuff. Uh, just a just a gorgeous boat and it's it's pretty close to being ready again we just need to get into it the challenge with this one is that uh, there's not really easy access to the interior um, to drop a cylinder in it so we're gonna need to figure out some some access to the uh, interior of the boat and hiding underneath we've got uh, a couple more this is the UC5 German uh, mine layer I believe this is World War one submarine it's got a really unique shape to it and uh you know again just a, a beautiful finish on the boat a really nice size and i think it's going to be a really good performer as well because the rear control surfaces are behind the prop so i think it's going to turn and uh and respond to pitch inputs really well so i'm excited about that and the other one I'm really excited about is also hiding under here, and that is uh, obviously a Russian Kilo submarine, and that is a, uh, a sizable boat. Um, I'm guessing that's about five feet long and, and probably eight or maybe even 10 inches in diameter. Um, it's just the, the rough parts, uh, you know, right off the printer. They haven't been joined together yet, so we'd have to do um, you know, the, uh, the, the joining of all the hull sections and fiberglassing the interior and all of that stuff. But um, I love that size. That, that thing is going to have presence on the water for sure. Well, there you go. Um, that's the, the, the haul that I got from my trip up to Iowa. reason that I did that was because my son 
uh, was visiting from college for spring break. He came up with me, but I was delivering that big 12 foot plane, uh, which is now hanging in the lobby of my former employer. Um, it was a lot of driving and it was almost 40 hours of driving because I drove from Texas up to Iowa, over to Illinois, and then back down again. But uh, well worth it. I'm excited about all of these. So with the exception of those liquidation boats that uh, I talked about a little bit earlier on, I haven't posted those up yet, but if you check my site uh, in the bargain bin, you should see them shortly. Uh, if anything there catches your interest and you want to be the first one, pop me an email. Don't put a note in the in the video because I'm probably not going to check it fast enough. Bob at NautilusDryDocs.com. Shoot me an email and uh, let me know what you're interested in. I can put your name on it and then I don't need to make a listing. That would be awesome. With all that said, just wanted to share these really unique boats. A big shout out to Craig who hooked me up with all of these cool things. Uh, Craig, you're uh, an awesome guy and an amazing 3D printer and, and builder. Thanks a lot for that opportunity. With that, I'm going to let you go. Uh, if you like what you see, do like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. We're going to let you go. Again, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus, drydocs.com. We'll catch you next time.